السلام عليكم تكبير انا فان ريزن والحمد لله I wanted to share with you a few words about the work of Muslim Ark and I think it's particularly uh, significant being here at uh, Sankofa Bookstore uh, founded by Haile Garima, the filmmaker who raised as an African filmmaker many of the issues that others didn't raise in the film industry and providing a bookstore, Sankofa Bookstore as a place to buy but also to learn about black writers that were talking about issues that affected black people. Muslim Art was established a number of years ago really addressing the question that W.E.B. Du Bois raised over 50 years ago. He said the problem then, he said the problem of the 20th century is the problem of, anybody know? W.E.B. Du Bois said the problem of the 20th century will be the problem of the series trying to answer. The problem of the color line. That race in America will be one of the greatest challenges of the 20th century. He didn't realize that it would also be one of the greatest challenges of the 21st century. Muslim art came out of the issue that Muslims were dealing with issues of race that they had no tools to address. Other than the fact that, alhamdulillah, we have the guidance of the Quran and the Prophet وسلم, and his khutbah wada, the Prophet describes that there's no superiority of the Arab over the non-Arab, or the non-Arab over the Arab, or the black over the white, or the white over the black. That has been a pernicious challenge for humanity since when? Since when? From the beginning. Who said it? Iblis says, I'm better than him because I'm made from something different. And so the challenge of the Ummah has perpetually been how do we deal with the fact that we're different, but in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the best of you are those who have the best character. Not those who are men or those who are women, those who are foreign, those who are domestic. And so Muslim art began to address the issues within the Muslim community. How do we address the issue of racism within our ranks? Many of us, our experience, by the way, just by a show of hands, how have you, many have ever experienced what you consider to be racism in the Muslim community. Let me see your hand. By the way, I'm, I'm, not, I'm video of me, I didn't, so you won't go on Instagram raising your hand saying you experience racism. What we discovered that fundamentally, we're not going to be able to dismantle racism as individuals. Because someone will always say, you're, you're talking about that's your own personal experience. I don't have that experience. Nobody, I don't, I'm not racist. Many of my friends are black. How do we address that by saying, A, do we have tools within the Muslim context, tools to address racism systematically? Now, if I have tools, how can I apply those tools to Muslim institutions and by extension, non-Muslim institutions. So that there are workplaces that are saying, we have Muslims who are working and are experiencing discrimination or in the schools, but is there a Muslim lens that we use to dismantle racism? There are many people who are doing diversity inclusion work, but are they using a Muslim lens? And so the work of Muslim Ark is to look at dismantling racism systematically. So if you go to muslimark.org, there are workshops, there are online training opportunities, there are 
There are opportunities for you to be able to become a member of Muslim art, to give you access to those materials so that you can arm yourself in the work of becoming an anti-racist. So with that, alhamdulillah, since I'm not telling jokes, and, and, I'm not a, and I'm a poet and don't know it, I'm going to pass the mic to Tahir. Thank you all. Alhamdulillah. Go to our webpage, muslimarc.org. Alhamdulillah. And join us uh, in the work of dismantling racism. Assalamu alaikum.